This video shows the moment Nigerian police officers rescued 23 pregnant girls and four babies from a baby factory in Umuaka, Imo State, in eastern Nigeria. It happened last Friday. They're now being looked after in a care home run by the state. One of the girls was 19-year-old Sarah, not her real name. She was lured into the factory by a lady who said she owned a home for pregnant teenagers. But when she got there, the lady demanded to buy Sarah's baby for $600. It told me some amount of money that was going to be paid to my account. And I accepted it and I was I entered into it. I was really afraid and I was scared. It's really shameful to go home like this and my parents looking at me surely skin me alive and instead of me aborting it I was willing to give it to people that I don't have Sarah was held against her will in the factory some tried taking their lives some tried escaping along the line they got beaten up so I was among the ones who tried to escape but there was no way this is where the pregnant girls were kept. At the front of the compound, there's a small mineral water factory that the baby factory owner was using as a front so that people wouldn't become suspicious about what was going on here. And the pregnant girls, well, they were crammed into this tiny building at the back in small rooms. A 23-year-old man and an elderly security guard were found living in the compound with the girls. They're believed to have impregnated the girls several times over. They're both in police custody. Ten minutes away, the factory owner, known as Madam 1000, owns this hospital. The pregnant girls were brought here to deliver the babies. Some of the girls and babies died during childbirth here. Baby trafficking cases have been found in this region before, but this is the first time a baby factory has been discovered in Imo State. The state governor puts the bus down to tough new adoption laws. Every child adoption or any motherless uh, baby home registration must have the consent of the governor. This must have led to why this has become bad business for all those who must have been practicing this kind of um, ugly thing. Sarah is grateful to the police officers that rescued her. I feel very happy. I'm very happy of this for the safety and for their protection because if not for them, I don't know what happened. Ivondege Al Jazeera, Umuaka, Imo State, Nigeria.